Easter. Like he said, we're going to tell the story of the resurrection. So after Jesus had died, a man named Joseph went to Pilate and asked if he could have Jesus' body. And because of his boldness, Pilate said yes. So he took Jesus' body, wrapped him in linen cloth, and placed him in a brand new tomb and rolled a huge stone in front of it. And in the meantime, all of the religious leaders, the Pharisees, and everyone are meeting together, and they're super nervous because they've heard all this talk about Jesus rising from the dead on the third day. And so they're like, we don't want the disciples to come and steal the body, and then everybody will be like, oh, Jesus rose from the dead. So they got these guards, and they put him in front of the tomb. Everything was very secure. Until the third day. It was the day after the Sabbath, and all of a sudden, well, first, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to go. It just says the other Mary. I don't know. Another, Another Mary. So went to the tomb the to anoint Jesus' body with like burial spices. When all of a sudden, there's this huge earthquake, and it's so big and shaky. And it's because this angel is coming down to the tomb, and he's so glowy and white. And he rolls the stone away and sits on top of it. And the guards that were placed there were terrified, and they fell down they like fell dead fell down, men. and they were like, they were dead. So when the Marys got there, they show up, and the angel's like, do not be afraid. What are you doing here? Why are you looking for Jesus who's alive among dead things? He's risen just like he said he would be. And go to the Galilee, and you'll find him there. So off they went, and they were terrified, but also, like, really joyful. So on their way, they literally run into Jesus, and they just fall down at his feet. And, and he says, greetings. It's so good to see you. <laughs> and he also says, go to Galilee and tell all my dudes to meet me at this mountain. Hey. So they go, and they tell the dudes to meet him. And to meet him at the mountain. So they get to the mountain, all 11. And many of them doubted, uh, but some believed. You know, and that's that the time that Jesus told them, All authority on heaven and earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of every nation. Baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Teaching them to observe everything that I have commanded you. And surely, I am with you always, even to the very end of the age. That's Amen. the end. <laughs>